Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got a quick tip for you for embossing uh, just an area on your cardstock. If you want the front of your card to just have a circle, a heart, a square, just a panel of embossing and not all over embossing, this is the way to do it. It's really quick and easy and it's probably using things that you've already got in your craft stash. So to create this effect, you're going to need an embossing folder, of course. You're going to need an embossing folder that is larger than the panel that you want to emboss. And of course, make sure it fits through your die cutting machine. You're going to need something called a tan mat or a rubber embossing mat, and that's what this is. Now, tan responds to the um, color that it is. They do come in different colors. You can get them in blue, pink, uh, black, all sorts. So uh, don't worry so much about uh, the color tan, but certainly a thick rubber mat that is made to go in your die cutting machine. Very often your machines will come with one or two of these in the box and we kind of just leave them in the box. We don't think much of them until we need them. So go check your box if you don't think you have one. If not, you can purchase them individually online. You're going to need a good solid cardstock as well. I'm using a hunky dory, adorable, scorable cardstock here just because I like the sheen on it. Um, but also because it's single sided, so it's easy for me to show you that I'm working on the back of the cardstock later on. Um, but a good solid cardstock, not a paper or a thin cardstock, because that will um, kind of buckle and sometimes tear and crease under the pressure of the embossing that we're going to be doing. You're going to then need a die that is just a simple outline die, so nesting dies are perfect. That is the shape and the size of the panel that you want to have embossed on your cardstock. So uh, the circle that you just saw a minute ago, that was uh, this one. And I've also got some scraps of cardstock and I've die cut that with the same circle. So uh, let's jump straight into the technique. So as I said, scraps of cardstock. Now I've got six layers here. I've die cut using this one die that we're going to come back to a couple of times during this tutorial. Um, so this one die, six pieces of cardstock and I've glued them all together with a wet glue. So that's really, really solid. It's like a piece of chipboard now. So this is now my shim. This is like my buffer and it's going to increase the pressure where I want it on my cardstock. Now, as I said earlier, I am going to be working on the back of my cardstock. Um, you don't have to work on the back, but I prefer the look of it afterwards. I like the look of the embossing when it's on the reverse. So I'm going to be working on the white side of my cardstock. Now I'm going to pop my cardstock into my embossing folder and I'm going to place my shim that I've created, close this up, on top of my folder. And sometimes just a little bit of tape there to hold that still is helpful. Now I'm going to run that through my machine. I can't give you the sandwich for your particular machine because all machines are different. But for uh, this particular embossing folder, which is a textures one, it's from the Peacock Plume Collection and I'll link that below. Um, what I need to do is actually take out quite a lot of my shims. So I end up taking, rather than um, usually what we'd do is we'd take out this thin plate and this would kind of go in place of the embossing folder. For this one, I'm going to start by taking out um, both a cutting plate and the shim as well and run that through. You're better to start with a lower pressure and then add pressure, add more plates if needed. So I'm just going to put my embossing folder with my shim on top just through like so. Now as I reach that circle there, I can feel the pressure has really increased already. So I'm just going to go over this a couple of times. Now, this may be where you decide you actually want to cut more of your shim, your circle, and layer that up a bit more. It might be that you need to take one or two away. Now as you can see, I'm just going over this and over this and over this, and this is why it's a good idea just to stick down that shim onto your folder. Now, very carefully, trying to keep this in place if you can, just open your, there we go, yeah, open your folder up and make sure that you're happy with what's there. If you think actually that could do with a little more pressure, your rubber mat's perfect because it's a thin shim. So I might just put that in once more with the rubber mat. What we don't want to do is for there to be so much pressure that we start embossing other areas around the card. So yeah, that feels much better. So I'm just gonna go through once at this pressure because that is really strong with that rubber shim in. And hopefully what the rubber shim is doing is, or sorry, what the cardstock shim is doing, this one, is preventing your the rest of your folder from reaching your cardstock. So if I take a look at this now, now let's just take this out. You can see we've just got that lovely circle emboss and the same 
on the other side. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is keep my shim. I'll keep that for another time. I'm now going to come to my cutting plate. So change my sandwich. So let's use this one, then my cardstock, then my circle die and just place this. Let's find that piece of tape. Just place my circle over the top here. In fact, you want your rubber mat to be underneath, just like so. And again, I'm going to go again with a thin shim and then if need be a thicker shim. This way you're just building up that pressure and see how it feels. Now I can't feel any pressure there at all. So let's just take this out and have a little look and see, no, no, no effect whatsoever. So let's try again with the clear plate, the clear cutting plate, it's a little bit thicker. Run that through again, not much in the way of pressure that I could feel there. So just check it. There was a little bit, there was a little bit, not quite enough. So I am going to put my in my full three plate. So that's my, they call it a die adapter with the big shot underneath the clear plate underneath the rubber shim and then the clear plate on top. Now run this through. Now let's just take a look, perfect. Now I can see that circle has framed my embossing beautifully and when I turn it over I can see that the, that embossed area is now raised up with the circle around it so it's really pretty hopefully you can see that but you can also see it on this side so that's the effect you would get from the front now it's entirely up to you which side you prefer to use whether you prefer to use this side or whether you prefer to use this side and that's why I like to use a single-sided coloured cardstock so that you can see the difference between each but that on the front of a card just the sentiment over the top is absolutely perfect and it just means you don't always have to be embossing your entire panel thank you so much for joining me today for this quick tip i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you try it out let me know in the comments if you have had a go and if you have any issues as well and hopefully join me back on this channel simply by subscribing for more tips and tutorials like this